So I remember this Daffy Duck cartoon from ages and ages ago. Um, if you don't know Daffy Duck, it's a duck that has some <laughs> anger issues. It could certainly do with some anger management. And in this cartoon, he had to sell products. He was a salesman and it just wasn't happening. And he eventually spoke with some other character and that character gave him this advice, just say it with confidence. And so this became the mantra of Daffy Duck and he was saying everything with confidence and I believe he, he became a success until something went wrong at the end. Anyway, so this, this say it with confidence thing has stuck with me throughout my childhood, teen years. It just stays there and I often uh, find myself in a position where you're looking at somebody or listening to somebody and the confidence is very much in the forefront. However, the quality of the facts being delivered, you know, it leaves um, much to be desired. And I suppose, I think the world in a way has become, um, it seems to be driven by experts. Um, you have experts who actually know what they're talking about, but they, they, they don't come up and say, hey, I'm an expert. They tend to be quite quiet or they're, they're so enthusiastic about the thing they know that when they tell you the story about it, you just become completely engaged in the material and not so much in the personality. Then you have the experts who, who you can see that they are an expert from a kilometer away because everything about them says, I am an expert and everything they do is said with confidence. However, if you, or let me say in my case, a lot of the people in this category they do not really tell the truth or they tell a version of the truth that makes them look good and you see it all over the place i mean one of the more recent examples is all the news that we get about certain situations in the world so you first hear suddenly everyone is saying this is the case and then you listen a bit more and you start to wonder, well, if that's the case, why does this happen? And the people who were claiming that the situation was this way are very, very good at encouraging everyone else to forget uh, what they said before, which was completely incorrect. Another thing is that there is a sort of a little tick, maybe it's a mental tick, in the same way that if a painting or photograph is not hanging straight it just it's like disturbing if I'm here and it's there it's just it really gets on my nerves I don't know why but what is really annoying is when people say things and this alarm bell goes off it's like eh, is that really true and then I will go back and find out not to challenge not to diss the person but it's just that it's it's causing so much upset in my heart my head but I want to know what is actually what is the truth what is the real thing behind all of whatever has been said. And yes, I'm being vague and I'm not mentioning particular instances because that can be very tricky in today's world. Uh, I remember at the start of the COVID-19 epidemic when suddenly the airways were filled with experts who for some reason, this brand new thing had come out and yet they knew everything about it which struck me as highly uh, unlikely, but they got onto the airwaves and with confidence said this and said that. And then others with confidence said the opposite and it just went back and forth. And I sort of wonder why is that? Why do we, what is it about us? Uh, what is it, it, it's, it tends to be men that I've noticed who do this more. What is it about us that makes us want to be know-it-alls, as if somehow, no, I know everything, therefore I am at a higher level than you as a human being. I um, have had so many clashes. There was one, there was a guy, when, when, I, when we were much younger, I was in Nigeria, remember that you are not allowed to insult somebody who is older. You, you are meant to, if an older person says something, that's it. And there's this guy who I was somewhere, and this guy was talking about being given a 25 carat gold pen. And I just could not keep my mouth closed. And immediately I'm there, blah, 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 blah. First of all, gold only goes up to 24 carats. And there is no way they would ever make a pen out of 24 carat gold. It would be too soft, so it was probably 14 or 18. And oh my goodness, I really got into a big jam. 
because it was I insulted him by correcting him. And so those little bits and pieces have stayed with me. I, I am not anti-expert. I love people who know what they're talking about. However, I feel there is a plague. There is a plague of experts. There are too many experts. When I put my stuff on YouTube, then I have on the side, you have this sort of column of things that it thinks that I want to see. And the number of those videos, which are about, you should do this, don't do that, never this, you must that. And occasionally I, I listen, and at times it's just really funny. It's, it's so, it's, it's, is, that, is that how our world is? Is, is that we just talk nonsense? That we, have we gone mad? It sometimes does feel as if I am living in a very, very mad world. Hopefully it's not. But uh, I just think we need fewer experts, fewer of the noisy experts. The quiet experts, please do your stuff. They're quiet. They do their business. Nobody hears about it until there's a result. But the noisy experts need to be removed from the television screens and removed from uh, the other side of cameras and removed from podcasts and all those things. They're just too many crazy experts and they keep getting it wrong and they never seem to get... Um, they don't sort of suffer for that. And I'm not talking physical suffering, but at least if you're always wrong, and there are some who are very often wrong, especially on geopolitical issues, I don't understand why, how they can come back again and again and again. So my, um, I'm sitting here saying, we, there needs to be a revolution in the expert world. I am not going to get involved. I'm just going to stand here at the sidelines and suggest that the experts sort themselves out. And once they've done that, start talking to us again with common sense and, of course, honesty.